What's going on everybody, it's Brendan here. I just finished all of my drafts for the day, so it is time to get some retail therapy in. And as always, I'm taking you along for the ride. Let's go see what I can source for cheap to resell online. Let's jump right into a fresh card. I always check the shoes. I'm a huge shoe reseller. I don't really see anything that I recognize here that might have any value. This was definitely a surprise to me though. So Remington tight curls. What I noticed in the sold comparables is people using keywords like cheerleading, pageants. So this might be like for the big hair crowd and I know that like the dance crowd is popular. That's what they might be using that item for and the list to sell ratio was amazing for that so it's going to cost me nine dollars but i'm going to price that at seventy dollars i did see a recent one sell for 70 and they sell for 80 and above if you've got the clips to go along with it i mine does not which is totally okay seventy dollars that's the one you definitely want to keep your eye on so great find right off the bat this one not so much this is a pair of asics gel quantum infinities I like the soles, the way they looked, obviously, but I didn't look close enough, and there's like a little bit of damage. Some of the midsole is like kind of chipping away. I don't know if that's the right term to use, but I thought that it was just some dirt that would come out in the wash, and it wasn't, and so even though there's plenty of life left in that shoe, I don't know that that's a bolo I think you should pick up. It's gonna cost me about five and a half dollars. I'm gonna like bottom bargain price it at 20 to move them quickly because they're not amazing sellers even in amazing condition. So not one of my better pickups, but I'm pretty confident that I'll find someone out there that's willing to pay $20 because even though it's just very, very slight damage and it's normal when the midsoles kind of rub together like that, um, I'm just not satisfied with it. So I'm gonna list it at $20 where normally I think I would put it at 30, 35. So hopefully we can move them a little bit sooner than later and we will move on to some more carts here. Mid-century modern as a style is extremely popular right now. Generally speaking, this book here, Icons for Design, it has four little mini books on the inside. I thought that was unique, so I looked it up and surprisingly enough, there's a sold comp in the $25 range to the $30 range, only gonna cost me $2. I'm actually second guessing myself about the books that I'm looking at right here, because I think those older ones might have had some value. So if you're here locally and you pick them up and they're worth money, congratulations good find but I left those ones behind I'm definitely gonna take the MCM book because $25 only spending two that's a great flip every single time and it's just a matter of time before that one sells so let's take a look at the rest of the cards here to see if there's anything that um, maybe I missed the second time around this one right here this got to be beach tripping it's a bolo keep your eye out for it if it's brand new and they're priced correctly I suppose grab it that was three dollars but it was in pre-owned condition so I really can't sell it but if you can get it for a good enough price grab that so I moved over to the glassware I'm actually going to give this away in this video to subscribers so you guys know the drill if you're not a subscriber make sure you're subscribed hit the like button leave me a comment any comment will do and I will send you that little lowball rambler from Yeti in the aqua bluish tealish color 10 ounce I love Yeti as a brand. It did not have the mag slider um, lid on the top. It's just one of those open lids. But I'm gonna give that away to one of you folks for, uh, for as a thank you for, for always watching here. We have some Libby Cobalt Blue Glass here. I actually forgot to pick these up and this happens to me often when I'm in store and I'm moving fast. No solds in the last 90 days for those little Sunday cups, but I definitely think that that was a $30 sale right there if you grabbed all five of them. And with summer coming up, ice cream in full force, family outings, that whole thing, those would have definitely sold. Not too big of a deal because I found an amazing bolo that I'm gonna show you right here that is actually already in my cart. So this is a Snap-on Vantage. It's a vehicle diagnostic tool. The case alone right now is gonna sell for $40. I saw a recent con for 40, so that's great. Now, this doesn't have any of the peripherals that come with this tool, which is okay because it's also battery operated. And so it takes 2D batteries. I've already tested it at home with those 2D batteries. The thing works like a charm and because it does work, 
I think at a minimum, I'm gonna be able to get $250 with the extra components. These things sell for 350 and above pre-owned regularly. Extremely useful tool, huge bolo. I'm extremely lucky. I'm actually thinking of Julian. If you guys watch the Bearded Thrift Machine, if you guys wanna see somebody source tools like it's their job, because well, it is their job, Julian is the man to watch. So I thought of him immediately when I saw that because I know that if he had caught that at a garage sale, he would have jumped all over it. But uh, shout out to uh, Julian and the, and the Bearded Thrift crew over there. But that was a great find. What a what a trip already. So I move over to the purses here. This is like, well, it looks like Coach, but I don't think it's Coach because it doesn't identify itself other than just the um, pattern on the outside. The one behind it, is interesting and I'm not sure how you pronounce it, Bors, Bors and Pell. Someone's gonna correct me on this, but it's an ostrich crossbody. Now this brand in and of itself looks like their crossbodies sell around $20, $25. Not really exciting, right? But I do see some solds for their for the ostrich style crossbodies in like the $50 to $60 to $70 range. Some I think were brand new. So I'm gonna, because I want to challenge myself here and this is out of my wheelhouse, I think I'll price it fairly at 40. I mean, it's in, like new to brand new condition. And then maybe the fact that it's ostrich will get me a little bit more, at least interest, if not more money as well. So I'm gonna test that out. If you're new, I would avoid something like that. If you're a seasoned seller and you wanna continue to try to learn a little bit like I try to do, um, I'm gonna step outside of my wheelhouse here and pick that bag up just to see what kind of interest I get and hopefully I can get $40 for that bag. I don't remember what it's gonna cost me. I, sometimes my prices, it just, I'm in so many different stores um, and they kind of sometimes feel like the price is different, you know, when you get up to the register, depending on who's ringing you up, but let's call that one $7 and we'll move over to the electronics. I love this Breville Keurig machine. The model number on this one is BKC600XL and we're gonna test this when I get home they have a policy here that you can return something, I think within 24 hours if it does not work, but if it does, it's only gonna cost me 13 and I'm gonna price it at $110 if it does work. And one of the things you have to pay attention to is that little cup holder inside there, that Nespresso holder, sometimes that's missing. And I don't know if some of them are bolted in and some of them are not. I think you can definitely remove that piece in a lot of the machines. So you have to pay attention to that. I totally forgot to look up those um goggles so i may have missed something there but that breville machine if it does work 110 dollars. but we're gonna find out by testing that when we get home and then let's just look and see what else we've got on the shelves here it's a really nice real thick glass pitcher here i don't know what machine it went to it didn't really have a brand name on it so i'm just gonna pass that by. There's a couple of nice looking coffee machines, Capresso at the top there, KitchenAid. Those could have had some value, but I'm all right with the one I have right now. I'm going to leave that behind. And then I saw this thing coming out on a cart and I kind of knew it when I saw it, if you will. So I grabbed it pretty quickly. They've got it priced at $30. The model on this Sony is CFS 700. Now I don't have the plug to plug it in. And if you look closely, you can see the antenna is broken. I don't know that any of that stuff really hurts me because this can be battery operated. It does take 8D batteries, but we've got to test the cassette player and all that. So I got home, I had some D batteries. It was working intermittently, but I think that's just because the batteries that I had were not new. They were kind of maybe on the older side. Some, they may have come out of an older machine that I was testing and I just held on to them and threw them in a drawer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home and or I'm gonna to go to maybe Walmart, grab some brand new fresh D batteries and then test this out because if it does work properly, even without the DC cable, I think at a minimum I can get $150 for it and that's where I'm gonna price it at if the cassette player works properly. If it doesn't, I think maybe for parts, I'll price it at like $80, $90 and just hope that I can sell it quickly to somebody that might want to refurbish it and kind of get inside the guts of that thing right there. But $150, yes, that's a hefty price to pay the $30 price range for an item that is going to, um, you know, it's going to be a challenge to get it to work properly because of its age, the condition that it's in, the fact that it's got a tape player, you know, sometimes the 
components inside just dry out, they stop working, so we'll see how that one goes. Next thing that I grab here is actually kind of unique. These are meditation cushions from a company called Moonleaf. I went to their Etsy website and it looks like they're not like they're closed until the middle of November. I don't know what that's all about. And then I went to their regular website. It looks like they still sell these pillows here, but they don't have this color combination and option. On their website, they're anywhere from $150 to $170 in new condition. And it looks like this is in, these are in new condition. So I think I will price mine at $130. Again, you can't get that color anywhere, it doesn't seem anymore. And the price that I'm gonna pay is only 10. So I thought that was a unique thing. You know, those people that run, you know, therapy businesses will use those in their offices and whatnot. And I think $130 is definitely fair when you would be normally uh, paying $170 for something like that. So good find there, very interesting. Something that I wouldn't normally look at, but for whatever reason just caught my eye. And I'm happy it did. Let's check out some of these toys here. We got a transformer there. There was a cars car there and I do end up picking one up that I caught the second time I went through this aisle here. We'll take a look at that one in just a second. But just here towards the bottom, I find this Toy Story 4 Buzz Lightyear armor. I've sold three or four of these in the past, so I'm just gonna grab it automatically. I know it already works because I can hear the sounds. Cost is $7, regularly selling in the $40 range. So that's where I, where I will list my one at that's a, a great find and even better when you find it in the july august september months leading up to halloween because i think it is used as a costume that was not a disney on ice branded wand so i left that behind and then that looked like a build-a-bear star wars ray no value there but i went back and i spotted this one here this rambulance dr damage from the Cars movie looks like it was from an Amazon seller. It looks like an old Amazon sticker. Anyway, I've seen this sell for as high as $50 pre-owned. I'm gonna list that one at 30 because I think I'm gonna be one of the only ones that has it in brand new condition. I did leave this Fisher Price van behind. This is a Bolo. It works. It has the doors. You, 20 to 25 dollars but the doors were a little bit loose and the thing was damaged at the top so for five dollars i'm going to leave it but that thing will turn up at garage sales along with the gray version of that one so keep your eye out for that and we are headed home to test that coffee machine all right so like a dummy i didn't realize there was a power switch right here so the first time i tried this i wasn't getting a response but it looks like we're ready to go here i've got a brand new cake up in the machine my lovely mug and we're gonna do it on the smallest setting and we're gonna brew this thing together. All right, let's taste it here. Not too bad, right? Don't you love it when a plan comes together? So coffee machine works. That's great. I spent $100.50 for everything you saw in that video. And my total listed value for everything comes to just over $900. So those were great items that I found that trip. Now regarding the Yeti lowball, remember, make sure you're a subscriber. Hit the like button. I think hitting the like button helps in the algorithm. I don't know. I don't think there's any proof to that, but some people swear by it. So that's step number two. And then just leave me a comment and I will ship that Yeti out to you uh, as a thank you for being a subscriber to the channel. So I appreciate each and every one of you tuning in. Thanks so much. We will see you in the next one.